Welcome to Geology Info. Today we're talking about the Pacific Ring of Fire. The Pacific Ring of Fire, also known as the Fire Belt, surrounds the edges of the Pacific Ocean and plays a crucial role in the geological dynamics of our planet. This region stretches for tens of thousands of miles, tens of thousands of kilometers, covering countries in the Americas, Asia, and Oceania. Historically, this area has witnessed countless remarkable natural events, from devastating earthquakes to massive volcanic eruptions. The notoriety of the Ring of Fire is not recent. Scientific records and observations date back to the 19th century with highlights such as the work of volcanologist George Scrope and publications like the Scientific American in 1868. Understanding the Ring of Fire is essential to grasp how tectonic plates slowly shape the Earth's crust. The theory of plate tectonics developed in the 1960s was key in decoding the mechanisms behind seismic and volcanic activity in this region. Before this, scientists merely observed and recorded extreme event patterns without knowing their true causes. Through this theory, the origin of the intense volcanism and earthquakes along the Pacific's edges was revealed. Located around the world's largest ocean, the Ring of Fire accounts for approximately 90% of global earthquakes and 75% of the planet's active and dormant volcanoes. These are staggering numbers that highlight the latent power in this area. Of the 25 largest volcanic eruptions over the past 11,700 years, 22 occurred within this belt, a true geological minefield that remains active and unpredictable. The Pacific Ocean, spanning more than 37 million square miles, over 96 million square kilometers, represents nearly half of Earth's water surface. And this vast body of water is gradually being compressed by tectonic forces acting around it. Despite so many risks, hundreds of millions of people live near the Ring of Fire. Major metropolises like Tokyo, Santiago, San Francisco, and Manila sit directly on top of active fault lines, vulnerable to seismic events and eruptions at any moment. This choice, often driven by economic or historical reasons, places these populations in a state of constant vulnerability, demanding ongoing monitoring and preparation. The Earth's dynamics may seem too slow to notice in daily life, but when these forces act, the impacts can be catastrophic. The formation of mountains, the erosion of rocks, the movement of sediments, all part of a millennia-old cycle that accelerates in subduction zones where plates collide and abruptly reshape the land. The ring of fire is the epicenter of these transformations, constantly molding the Earth's surface. Subduction zones along the ring of fire are the planet's most geologically tense points. In these areas, one tectonic plate is pushed beneath another, generating heat, pressure, and deformations in the Earth's crust. This process fuels the rise of volcanoes and triggers violent earthquakes. These zones function like pressure valves for energy stored inside the Earth, which, when released, can cause dramatic transformations in mere seconds. The horseshoe shape of the Ring of Fire is made up of a nearly continuous chain of oceanic trenches, volcanic systems, and tectonic plate boundaries. Among the most well-known examples is the Mariana Trench, located east of the Philippines, which reaches depths of more than 36,000 feet, over 10,900 meters, making it the deepest point in the ocean. This trench marks the junction between the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Plate, showing the intense geological activity along the planet's edge. The Ring of Fire's geological complexity is also reflected in the variety of plates involved. In the eastern portion, like the Americas coasts, large, relatively stable continental plates dominate. In the western side, the setting is more fragmented, with multiple smaller plates interacting. This configuration results in a wide range of geological events from explosive eruptions to high-magnitude earthquakes, often followed by devastating tsunamis. Among the countries in this region are some of the most geologically active. Japan, Indonesia, Chile, and the United States, for instance, face constant risks. In Japan, earthquakes are part of everyday life with highly sophisticated alert systems. In Chile, the Andes mountain range, which stretches along the entire western coast of South America, is a direct result of these tectonic forces in Indonesia, hundreds of volcanic islands rise from the instability between the Indo-Australian and Eurasian plates. Even though the Ring of Fire poses a constant threat, it also plays a key role in shaping and renewing geographical landscapes. Volcanism not only destroys, but also creates new islands, fertile soils, and unique geological formations. 
Many of the world's most productive agricultural lands are near ancient volcanoes, whose ash enriches the soil with essential minerals for food cultivation. Living alongside this powerful force requires knowledge, respect, and adaptation. While science still cannot precisely predict the exact moment of an earthquake or eruption, advances in geological monitoring allow for early warnings and impact mitigation. Investing in education, resilient infrastructure, and smart urban planning are crucial steps for communities near the Ring of Fire to face the challenges of living on such unstable ground. Over the decades, studying the Ring of Fire has led to a deeper understanding of Earth's geodynamics. From the second half of the 20th century onward, developments in modern seismology, plate movement sensors, and satellite imagery brought major advances. Today, scientists can monitor seismic activity in real time identifying patterns and anomalies that help prevent large-scale disasters. Despite scientific advances, challenges remain. Predicting tectonic plate behavior is still filled with uncertainties. The forces involved are colossal and operate on time scales far beyond human perception. While it's possible to identify risk zones and estimate probabilities based on historical data, science still cannot pinpoint exactly when or where an earthquake or eruption will strike. This calls for continuous preparedness from both populations and governments. Beyond geological hazards, the ring of fire also heavily impacts the environment. Volcanic eruptions release massive amounts of sulfur dioxide and ash into the atmosphere. On some occasions, such as the Mount Pinatubo eruption in the Philippines in 1991, the gas release was enough to lower the planet's average temperature for nearly two years. These events demonstrate how the ring of fire influences not just locally, but globally. If you found this content interesting and want to keep learning about our planet's secrets, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and share with others. Your support is essential for us to continue delivering high-quality, informative content. Stay tuned for the next episodes here on the channel and dive deeper into the fascinating world of geology. Until the next journey into Earth's interior, where everything moves, transforms, and reminds us that we're just passing through on a living crust.